Alrighty, I needed to clear something up because there's too many darn fools out there spending way too much money on getting their LS engine to bolt up to an older style trans. That's a 4L80E, obviously, but it's still, um, it, the torque converter snout is still set up like an older um, Turbo 350 or 400. The 4L80E is based off the 400 with an overdrive. Package arrived the other day. Mm, you guys know this motor is going in my custom cruiser wagon. But I'm using this torque converter as a reference. This is how big this monster is. It's out of the 4L80. Six bolt lugs. This thing weighs 70 pounds dry. Package shows up from a little company in Michigan called, uh, I think it's Michigan Motorsports. Now, to adapt an older style trans to a newer style motor with that flex plate that's a little it's got a little dish to it you don't need to spend money on the flat flex plate special torque converter that stupid bolt-on adapter GM used you're spending too much money all you need is this this big old cock ring that's it Hughes makes it, PRW makes it, Pace Performance sells it. I got it from Michigan Motorsports. They were kind enough to sell this little bad boy to me for $22. Simply, that's, this is what it does. It centers, and it, it's, it's a bushing. It centers your torque converter. I should have done this while the uh, engine was on the ground, but you guys will get the idea. You want this thing... Well, the engine's hanging. You take your dead blow hammer or a piece of wood and make sure the bore is clean. Hammer that in there. You don't need that stupid, expensive-ass flywheel. Unless, of course, you're doing some serious racing and it's got to be, like, SFI approved. I got it. But to bolt a Turbo 350, a Turbo a 200R, 4L80, a 400, any old-style trans, this is all you need. Quit wasting money. 22 bucks. That's it. Older style torque converter. Look at Oh! Bam! Bolt the trans to the motor and get your ass on the road. I'm a little passionate about it. I'm a little heated because on the forums, on Facebook, on LS1 Tech, all these websites, you need to buy that stupid bolt-on spacer with the stupid bolts. That you can't get anywhere but General Motors because there's like uh, some specific thread and length. I don't know. Call that a monopoly, if you will. But this is all you need. The only other modification you have to do is if you're using an older uh, transmission which has a standard circle for the torque converter. Uh, your holes, you still have three holes. Obviously, the L80 uses uh, six. But you got to take your die grinder and open these bad boys up maybe an eighth of an inch. Oval them up. Or hell, you might even get lucky and use one of these other holes, depending on the brand of converter you use. But that's what I did on the old. Just open it up just a wee little bit so you can get your bolts through for the torque converter. Flywheel the torque converter bolts. Put some blue Loctite on them. Torque them down like you're supposed to. And that's it. Also, many of you may or may not know, you are only using one, two, three, four, five. Those are the only bolts you use for an older transmission. This bad boy here, the motor's too shallow. This would go right into the cylinder of the water jacket. So that's pretty much it. Older LS, or I'm sorry, an older GM automatic transmission with an old torque converter snout to a dished style LS flex plate. That's all you need. 22, 25 bucks. Look it up on eBay. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday.